code of identity hackers. We will be focusing on people and how they identify root gender. So many labels in the world, it can be hard to figure out which one is you as a person. It can be even more difficult when you don't realise that these labels exist. Now most people are aware of the gender binary. That if there's male, female, they have to stick to one of those two categories. These categories are tied at birth, and most people are comfortable with that approach. It's in alliance with their gender identity. Now if that applies to you, that would make you cisgender. Cisgender male, so you assign male at birth, you identify as male. Cisgender female, so when you are assigned female at birth, you are comfortable with being female. Now let's go see if we can find an example of being cisgender female or male. I can't believe how lucky I am. Now, I'm going to try to approach this human being. But of course, as always, we're going to need bait. Do you like it? Um, can I ask you what your name is? Madison. Hi, Madison. Um, can I ask you how you identify? I am a cisgender female. Mm hmm Now, Madison, what does being a cisgender female mean to you? That means that I was born female and I identify as female in my brain. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Madison, are you you know um, I'm gonna eat this now. Oh, I am sorry, I don't I don't mean to interrupt. Please continue to eat, yes, of course. Are you here? We're here at Dick's Sporting Goods, trying to find a cisgender male. Let's see what we can find. So far we've found nothing. Let's keep searching. We've stumbled across a secret cave that no one has ever been in. We're going to see if we can find anyone else. As you can see, we've spotted another human being. We're going to need some bait. Now that we've got the bait, we're going to try to get closer to this wonderful human specimen. Obviously, this isn't the tea that they wanted. We brought the wrong bait last time, but this time, I think we've got the right tea. We're going to see if we can go talk to this amazing creature. Is this the tea you wanted? Yeah. What's up? Can I ask you a question? Sure. What's your name? Caden Rodriguez. Hello, Kaiten. Can I also ask you how you identify? I'm a trans man. And what does being a trans man mean to you? It means biologically I was born as a female, but I didn't identify as that, so I rejected that to live as the opposite gender. Mm -hmm. I see. I see. 
Now, Kaden, can I ask you one last thing? No, no. I, I have to go to sleep. You should probably get out of my cave. I apologize. I'm sorry. Now, as you can see, this trans man, as lovely as they are, must need their sleep. We're off to go so that they can have a nice slumber. As you can see, Caden is a trans man who takes testosterone. If we were to stumble across a trans woman, it's possible that she could be taking estrogen, also known as AP. Estrogen gives the user more feminine appearance. Now, the only thing we have yet to come across is somebody who doesn't identify on the gender binary, meaning they don't identify as male or female. That, in my view, is not wise. After being called here for a rumoured sighting, we have spent 20 minutes wandering the store and unfortunately have not found anything. We can't meet here. The last specimen we talked to had to run. However, they did leave us instruction as to how to contact them next. Now, it requires two steps, three very key items. So, here we have... The killers, Queen, and most importantly, Fallout Boy. Now, the very last step was to, I believe, boop my nose. Now, as to whether or not this will work, we'll find out on the count of three. One, two, three. Hopefully they are... Uh, Hello! How, how, how did you get here? You did what I told you, right? I, I believe so. These are the items you've requested. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. You get three questions. Like a genie. Yep. Fascinating. Because just like a genie. Mm -hmm. We don't exist until you call us. Fascinating. Now, can I ask you what your name is? It's Mish. Mish? Mm -hmm. Alright, nice to meet you, Mish. And now can I ask, how do you identify? I identify as non-binary. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Now, Mish, being a non-binary, what exactly does that mean for you? Well, for me, that means that I don't identify with either male or female, and it's just somewhere outside of that spectrum. Mm -hmm. So, for some people, that means it fluctuates between different genders, for others it means their gender, is just not one of those two. And for others, it means that they don't have a gender and they are just kind of not on the binary. Hmm. Fascinating. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for meeting with us and also for teaching me that very cool summoning trick. You made a friend with a non-binary. Thank you so much. Fortunately, we have run out of time, but we have learned quite a lot. We learned about cisgender male and female, as well as transgender men and women. And let's not forget, non-binary. But, since genders and labels are always changing and so, so fluid, tune in next week for more Identity Hunters. everywhere.